figure in on this project? Well, I don't know that I did. <laughs> I see. Yes, if the parachute did not deploy or did come loose during this operation, we could have a dramatic ending to this. You know, this is a really tough bird, yes. and you can see here that it's 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 almost perfect. Right here. away! Welcome once again to Rocket Acres. Today is May the 2nd, 1976, and we are back again at the same location to try once more the famous rocket launch that you saw on the last program. With me today is Mr. James Steffen, head rocketeer of the project, and also the person who has modified the rocket this time uh, to include one extra stage, which we'll discuss in a moment. How are you doing, Jim? Uh, he's okay. Unfortunately, last night he had a slight um, accident and uh, had to drink a little too much medicine. Right. So, cough uh, medicine, of cough course. Cough medicine, yes. So uh, he's not really feeling all bad that well cough. today. Yeah. Yes, bad cough. But it's, um, as you see, it's becoming corrected. Well, what do we have today as far as a rocket? We have the same rocket we had last time with one additional stage. One additional stage, which is the red stage That's on the right. bottom. Red because it is a booster and red hot. Red hot. Red hot booster. What do you think the chances are of um, the launch occurring today with total success? Uh, if the wind would die down, I think we would have a good launch. We would have a good launch. I think there's a good chance. Yeah, it is very, very windy today. We're going to wait till the wind dies down before we uh, launch. Um, we have a little different platform this time. Right. We have an actual rocket launching platform this time, uh, carefully constructed and finely machined to support the rocket. <laughs> machined to fine specifications. Yeah. With me today is Steve Grimm. I'm over here at the videotape van. Uh, hello, Mr. Grimm. Nice to see you here again, Greg. Well, imagine meeting you here again at yes. Rocket Acres. Good to have you and your uh, camera crew here oh, today. Oh, thank you very much. Can you explain what uh, is taking place here? Yes. Uh, first of all, if we can get a shot here, this is the launch console today. Th this is the launch console today. I see it is the new improved version. Right. It is uh, permanently mounted. Permanently mounted. To the ground. Uh -huh. Yes, very and, nice. Uh, we have the, the actual launch switch is right on the top here for easy access. Easy access, very good, yes. Okay, and this wire then uh, runs into this the wire band. wire runs into the battery. And connects to the battery. Right. So that's the space charge. The, that is to power the space charge as we have you know, discussed earlier. I see, and this is the videotape van? With yes, this is the uh, remote unit. This has all the videotape equipment and all the you know, scientific equipment in it for, uh, for the launch today. Very good. Well, what do you think the chances are, Steve, for a well, launch? Well, I think it's going to be very good. The, it's it's pretty gusty winds. Uh, I would uh, you know suspect that that the rocket will drift drift uh, quite a ways downrange today. Well, we have um, a very clear downrange. Uh, are you going to be doing the countdown? Is that how it's going to work? Yes, that's that's right. I'm going to uh, actually throw the switch also. Okay. Well, we have a tough old bird today, Steve, out there, and I think. Um, I think it's got a good chance of making it. I think so, too. Mr. Stephan, I'm going to walk over to him. Nice talking to you, Steve. Thank you, Greg. Mr. Stephan today is going to do the uh, running back and forth. Uh, he's going to turn the camera on, uh, on the rocket, and then he's going to run and get out of the way in time for it to take off. So in case it does blow up, he will be safely out of range. What, uh, what type of altitude um, uh, are we talking about well, today? We hope to be able to reach 1,000 feet today. 1,000 feet? 1,000 feet. Excellent, excellent. Unfortunately, it is rather windy. Jim is standing by to turn on the camera. Steve is behind me at the uh, launch control. And we're just sitting here now, waiting for Mother Nature to slow down the wind so we can launch this thing. How's it looking now? It's pretty calm right this second. Get ready, Steve. Okay? Give us a count, Steve. Okay, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, one, launch. And there it goes. It's curved over. The first stage is separated. It's falling down behind me. The rocket is heading straight down in a nose dive. Oh. Uh, 
just in pieces and stuff hanging out. As you go up, it gets less and less intact and more and more destroyed. The top is pieces, and Steve has what's left of the camera. Oh, folks, disaster has struck here at Rocket Acres. The total project is a mess. Up, up, and away! Thank <laughs> you.